I complain about such little stuff when I'm back home. And I, 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 like, worry about things that don't matter. And over here, all he wanted was his vision back in his eye. I think that finally, uh, you know, Yusuf, you're actually doing good with your platform. Now, I'm not saying you've never done good before. Try to get what I'm saying. Like, this is, what, this is it. Why did you feel so fulfilled? Guaranteed, you've probably never felt as fulfilled ever doing something than doing this. Why? You started putting a, 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 a chain on your tongue, on your creativity. You had too much to lose. Like, I don't know if Yusuf is going to see this video. This video is for you to remind you out there that doesn't matter who you were. Who you were doesn't dictate who you are or who you're going to become. People can change. And I'm an example out there that you can change out there. I was in the wrong. I, the fact that I assume negatively in my brother just shows you what kind of corrupt individual I am. His tears, his... I felt nothing was sincere. I, I loved it. I, I, if you're in pain, I'm in pain. If your child is suffering through depression, if they have a pill addiction, if they have some type of addiction, they're my children too. They're my brothers and sisters too. Don't think for a second you're alone out there. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Come here, beautiful. I told my daughters to put on their coat because they wanted to be in this video too. And my cat just came out. Come on now. This is what happens when you're a dad, man. You're a dad. Go inside. Go inside. You want to see how my daughter wore her jacket? You, you know, this is what my daughter wore. Come, come back. Come back. This is how she wore her jacket. Look what she, what kind of butt does she get? She gets up to so much trouble, bro. Look what she's doing. I'm going to let her wear like this. You know why? Because it encourages free spirit, thinking, and just showing individuality. But when it comes to effectiveness, she might get a cold. So I might have to change her hair. <laughs> I'm all about like giving them choice and stuff, but they got to like be safe. See, but my other daughter, mashallah, she's Siarni. She's Siarni, okay? She's, she's very clever. Come over here. But she's only half Siani because look, her thing was a uh, uh, <laughs> zip like this, so she just wore it like that and said, I respect it. You know why? I respect it. You know what, girls? I respect this. Good job. Good job. I love the creativity that you both put. Do you know what today's video is going to be about? About giving us salam. No, it's not. You know what? It's always about giving us salam. To the new house. Yeah, not the new house yet. What do you think today's video is going to be about? About giving us salam. Giving us salam? Yeah. What does that mean? It means giving out dawah. Giving out dawah. Isn't that what we always do? Yeah. Isn't dawah what Allah put us over here to do? Yeah. Absolutely. That's the truth. And here's what's really happened today, guys. I just saw the video from Brother Fusi. Say, come here, come here, come here, come here for a second. Oh say, say, Allah, please bless uh, Uncle Fusi. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Say, 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 Allah, please bless Brother uh, uh, Uncle Fusi. Okay. I'll let you please um um bless Uncle Fusi with I mean. I mean. I'll let you make him be Fusi. I mean. Okay, that's it. We're friends. This is coming from a place of love, not a cry for help. And this is dawa. This is dawa. This is yeah. dawa. And we're dawa. giving out dawa also means that we can give out flowers. And dawa. Okay. Okay, how about this, girls? Why don't you go inside and daddy's coming in like 10 minutes before. I have to do this before Maghrib. You have to pray Maghrib together? Okay. We're going to pray Maghrib together? Can I? I'm okay, don't grab it better. so hard. Okay, okay, you got to go inside, Gremlin. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside, please, 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 please. Please go inside. Please, girls, I love you. I love you. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Quickly go. Go inside. Take your jackets off, and then we'll watch, we'll watch something together as a family, okay? Okay, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I know. I'll be doing this. I'll be doing this, guys. Welcome back to another video. Guys, honestly, this is coming from a place of a lot of love. If someone really knows me, then they know how much of a, 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 a fan... This is not SQ, brother, SQ. This is just me talking how much of a fan of Fusi uh, I am. You know, I love, I love, 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 love Fusi Tube. I always felt like he was so creative and just the, his social experiments and the comedy stuff that he was doing. Obviously, it came to a point where I just stopped watching it because I came more on my dean and I just realized this wasn't helping me get towards there. Uh, but Fusi's been through a lot of ups and downs. And, and Fusi's someone who I actually really, really... Uh, you know, love and I find like is a really awesome human being. I personally feel that way. I've made reminders about Fusi before, uh, not on, on YouTube directly, but on Instagram. Babe, why do you think people get depression? 
I think mainly it stems because of a lack of love for yourself and lack of gratitude. I'm not talking about the depression that like you have mental illness. When you have a lack of love for yourself, you're going to be sad, you're going to be depressed. When you don't love your lips, you are going to fill them in with fillers. When I was talking about gratitude, right there, sweetie, I'm talking about gratitude towards Allah because when you don't love yourself, you're not being grateful to Allah. To be thankful to Allah is to love yourself and understand that whatever comes in your life or whatever you have comes from Allah. And when you don't have that gratitude towards Allah, naturally you lose a lot of love of yourself because you're not thankful to the one who's given you everything. The more thankful and grateful to Allah you are, the more you are going to feel like you have in your life, the more abundance you'll feel in your life. When we are thankful and grateful to Him, naturally He will increase us and give us more. But the opposite is also true that you don't show gratitude towards Allah, you're naturally going to feel restrained and things aren't going to go your way. Uh, because I, I genuinely love him. I used to work with Fusi's uh, cousin, uh, his actual blood cousin. He was a teacher, Rami Arakat. I used to work with him. Uh, his uncle, uh, their, uh, uh, that's um, uh, Yusuf Fusi's uh, uh, father. Um, and I tried to get in contact with Fusi. I've been trying to get in contact with Fusi for a while, you know, but who am I? Who am I? You know, who am I? Why SQ? You want clout? That's the reason SQ. You want to, oh, you just want another person's in the, in the, th no, because you know what? I know I have something to offer. I know I can help people. That's why I know I can be a good friend to people. You know, when I first watched that video and the video of, uh, that I'm making this video, the reason, there's a reason I'm making this video. I just found out that Fusi just came out with this uh, video uh, saying that am I still a Muslim and he talks about documenting his journey in uh, Kenya, Africa, where he's teamed up with Muslims of the World, a, uh, a, a good partner, friend uh, of mine who owns his sajad, shout out to him and his beautiful uh, a wife as well, who's an amazing human being. These people are good people, so I'm happy that Yusuf is around the right people, mashallah. And he's out there over there with UMR and just doing some awesome things. And I, and I love that. I love that. I think that that's the right thing to do. And I think that finally, uh, you know, Yusuf, you're actually doing good with your platform. Now, I'm not saying you've never done good before. Try to get what I'm saying. Like, this is, what, this is it. Why did you feel so fulfilled? Guaranteed, you've probably never felt as fulfilled ever doing something than doing this. Why? Right? You're doing, you're doing God's work. And, you know, you're, you're with another homie, Tone Trump. I don't even know if I should call him a homie because, I don't know, he, he doesn't really talk to me anymore. But I, I can't speak on how he feels towards me. But from me to him, just absolute, just love. I did Umrah with the man. Good brother. Good brother. You know, like, there for his community. There for his community, trying to be great father. What an awesome father. Even though he'd be sneaking the sea mosses into their, their applesauce and stuff, but that's a different story, you know, mashallah. May Allah increase them. But, but honest to God, like, you know, you know, Yusuf, you said something interesting, Fusi, like in, in the end of the video, you were like, you know, you, you stay away from religion. I almost fell. I almost died making a video. You know, like, oh, how... Um, you know, you've been afraid to see people's comments and, and stay away from politics and religion. That's the problem. You became too, you, you were too afraid to lose your deals and all that. You, you started putting a, 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 a chain on your tongue, on your creativity. You had too much to lose. I can say whatever the hell I want to say. And I'm, I can have a lot. To, you don't think I have a lot to use, lose? You think? I'm, I'm by profession, subhanAllah, y'all don't even know. Real ones out there, shout out to you. You, you. The real ones out there understand who I am, what I do. I know what benefit I could bring to people, but SKO, he's just trying to clout. No. Let me tell you something. Fusi before all this sort of stuff. Why did I look up to Fusi so much? Why? You know? Because he's, again, me and him have a similar story, bro. Me and him have a similar story. Me and him both. MashaAllah, bald brothers. Bald brothers. Me and Fusi both bald brothers. Got some ink over here as well, too. Got some ink on my chest as well, too. Got some ink. There's more down there, but I can't, you know. Got to keep it clean. I'm not trying to get demonetized for showing a, a little nipple. I'm joking with you guys. Don't worry. You know what I mean? Why? Because of this? No. Mainly because of his battles and struggles with depression. That's the main reason. And why? Why? Why do I want to talk to him? Because I'm a coach. I'm a coach. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I call it a life coach, a skills coach, a personal coach, a therapist, call it a, a, a counselor, a social worker, call it what you want. Whatever hat you need me to wear, I'll wear it. Because people I care about, I love about, I take care of them. Why did you feel good? You're around the right people. You're around the right people. Angels are around you. You're doing good work for people. Of course you're going to feel good. I felt so strongly about this that I've been out whole day struggling, hustling, doing a podcast. I came home. I had to make this video because I felt so strongly towards this. 
I, I personally believe, and you know, look, I gotta just break it down for you, man. The Messenger Sallallahu was talking to higher important people in Quraysh. He was talking to them and all of a sudden and trying to give them da'wah. Why? Because he knew that by giving them da'wah, if they were to accept Islam, because they're in the hierarchy of the system, of the caste, of the system, the tribal system, uh, and the political system that Mecca operated on, if that can happen, then, oh, Islam is going to be easy peasy, alhamdulillah. But he was just giving da'wah, doing the right thing. So a man came to him, particularly a blind man, came to him interested in Islam, curious about Islam, wanted some help. Wanted some help, needed some, wanted to learn more about Islam. The messenger saw some, and by the way, he was a blind man. That's why he didn't even know the messenger saw some was in something. He interrupted him without meaning to. You understand? And because he was interrupted, the messenger saw some lightly frowned. Real ones out there, tell me in the comment section below, what's the name of that surah, by the way? He frowned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses immediately about that frown. And it put things in perspective for us. That it's not us trying to give da'wah to celebrities and this and that. I'm working at the grassroots level. What are the chances of Yusuf actually seeing this? Slim to none. And if he doesn't see it, may Allah increase him. Why? And, and I still get the word for why? Because I've spoken about it. The angels heard it. They've took it to Allah. Allah has heard it. Allah knows about this. Allah knows the sincerity that's in my heart. But I'm not here for that. I just found out in my own community in Bay Ridge, New York, there's people dying from overdoses. Not people. Muslims dying from overdoses. How? How can I be in this state, in the city of New York, and not know that about my people? So expect a lot more content about uh, you know, helping our Muslim brothers and sisters get off of addictions, drug addictions, getting them off of this. So stay tuned for that. That's going to come. My, the reason I'm sharing this with you is, like, I don't know if Yusuf is going to see this video. This video is for you to remind you out there that doesn't matter who you were. Who you were doesn't dictate who you are or who you're going to become. People can change. And I'm an example out there that you can change out there. Don't think for a second don't think, what's up beautiful? I love you. Hey, can you give me like two, three more minutes and then I'll come in? It's Maghrib time already. It is Maghrib time already. Okay, we don't want to delay our prayers, right? Okay. Okay, so I'll be there. Get, get everything ready. Do wadu. Okay, guys, you heard it. You heard it over here first. It's my... Be careful. Get off there. You're going to hurt yourself. Please get off there. Okay. Oh, you see, you're going to go inside, please. Do wadu. Okay. <laughs> you heard it from the bosses, guys. It's about time for me to go. But real talk, real talk out there. I'm, I'm here to do things at the grassroots level, guys. I don't know if Yusuf's going to see this, but I know you guys watching this, but I guess, Q, what was the benefit of me, average Joe, doing that? Let me tell you something. You're not an average Joe. I love you. I love you. I genuinely love you. I love you guys. I love you guys. I want to bring value to you. I want to bring more value to you guys. I, I, want to, I want to deliver more to you guys. How can I give more to you guys? What is it that you need from me? How can I help you? How can I, what can I do for you? Real talk, what can I do for you? Tell me in the comment section below. What could you do? You, you need to get in contact with me? Email me. I'm not going to put it over here because I want you to find it. It's available out there. I want you to find it. I don't want you to put it. I don't want to make things easy for you sometimes because sometimes you got to search a little bit. When you search a little bit, you value the knowledge a little bit more. You value it a little bit more. But going back to that video real quick, seeing food, like I, at first, I'll be honest with you, at, at first, when I seen the video and just tears, ah, I feel like I was, I had such a negative bias towards you. And I'm sorry if Fusi out there, uh, I had a really negative bias. I mean, I'm just like, oh man. Because I know exactly the project that they're doing out there. You know, and I'm just like, oh, I hope you're not crying just so you could like have people donate or something stupid, you know? And wallahi, that's the shaitan. That's not, that's wrong. That's wrong. There's a reason I'm, I'm outing myself right now because we all have these implicit biases about one another. We, we reflect and project our own disgusting negative thoughts that we have onto others thinking that who was right in, in this whole conversation? I was in the wrong. I, the fact that I assume negatively in my brother just shows you what kind of corrupt individual I am. I'm making a new video, inshallah, it's going to be called False Prophet. Wait until you see that video. That video is going to be like, you really wake up of who I really am. I'm going to, be, I'm going to really, really get raw with you guys as far as who I am. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about that one later, maybe tomorrow. I'm, I'm releasing this one tomorrow, today. I don't know, man. It's all the days just feel the same, subhanAllah. Anyways, it's Maghrib time. But when I watched the video, man, 
I saw nothing but raw sincerity from Yusuf. I saw nothing but sincerity from this man. His tears, his... I felt nothing was sincere. I, I loved it. I, 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 I loved how raw it became and how insignificant he felt in, 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 in the work that he's doing with people that, that don't know who he is, but they're making du'a for him. And you know what? Your mom is an awesome individual. May Allah bless her. May Allah bless her, my bro. Like, I, I'm not cool with Harris J. I'm cool with Harris J's dad. You understand? Like, I'm that type of dude. You feel me? I want, I want my mom to be cool with your mom, Fusi. That's how I want it to be, bro. You need good friends and good people in your life. Hang around good people in your life. Be good. Have, have good circles of friends. When you go to, you are afraid to go to LA, don't be afraid to go to LA, bro. Don't be. You know why? Because I'm a phone call away. Oh, I'm just including myself. Don't, don't come to me. Don't come to me. Don't come to me. Allow, allow the shaitan to manipulate us. Allow the shaitan to put enmity between brothers. That's what, that's, what, that's what should be happening, right? That's what we need to be doing. Enmity. Put enmity between people. That's what the shaitan wants. He doesn't want us to seek help. He doesn't want to go around the people. To and you know what? I'm aggressive with how I help. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm aggressive because this is my nature. Not like on a one-to-one -one, like... like personal conversation you know because the the patients that I have there I counsel I'm a counselor yeah I don't even know yeah I don't know my licenses yeah I don't know my degrees I don't you know why because I'm not insecure enough to put it out there some people have to hang it up did you know that I never even picked up my master's degree did you know that and when I get my doctorate I'm probably not going to even walk either. Why? Because I don't care about these things. I'm seeking the knowledge. I'm trying to go other places. I don't care about telling you my credentials and qualifications. I am qualified. I am qualified. I don't need a degree, some paper, some years to show that I'm qualified. I am qualified. You're qualified out there. I got Matt Lau. Uh, time. You are qualified out there. Don't feel so insecure. Don't let people tell you that you're mounting to nothing. Don't 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 worry about things like this. Don't worry about that at all. You you're 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 a good person, you're a special person out there. You don't need, you know, justifications from people, your your approval of your parents. You need the du'as of your parents, not their approval. You need the du'as. You don't need approval from people. Stop trying to make everyone happy. Not everyone's gonna be happy with you. You know who you need to make happy? Allah. That's it. That's it. Do you think I give a damn with how I come off? Do you think I even care? I don't even... Ugh. Because the real ones out there knows where it's coming from. The real ones are out there. The fake ones out there are going to try to put a hole in my who I am as a person. I'm here for the people. That's what I'm here to do, guys. I'm here for the people, not just Muslim people. Every single human being. When I found out that French lady said that Sikhs are being mistreated in France. <sighs> Sikhs are being... Sikhs are our brothers. They're our brothers. Oh, SQ. Kufar, they're your brothers. No, <sighs> It's time for Maghrib. I got to go inside and pray some Maghrib, guys. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Honest to God. Fusi, may Allah increase you, my bro. May Allah bless you. And if it's not me who's, uh, who's, who's uh, you're befriending or getting a personal coach or getting some therapy, but do what you got to do, bro. Because that's the biggest reason I linked with you, your story, a vibe with your story, because I've suffered through that as well. I've been through rock bottom. I've been through suicidal thoughts. I've been as close to even doing it. And I've gotten out of it and I've learned the ways to help other people get out of it too. And together we can help millions of people get out of it. You know how many Muslims are struggling with, uh, with, with drug addiction, with stuff? We can help them. We can help them. We can help them. What are they, what's the point of these platforms if we can't help our own communities? What's the point? This might be the highest I increase. You see these number of subscribers and followers and all that garbage? This might be the highest I ever achieved. So if there's any leverage in my voice, if there's any power in my voice, this is the, this is the message that I want to dive with my, 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 my brand or whatever you want to call this. 
that I'm here for you. I'm here to help you develop and discover your Islamic identity. If you're in pain, I'm in pain. If your child is suffering through depression, if they have a pill addiction, if they have some type of addiction, they're my children too. They're my brothers and sisters too. Don't think for a second you're alone out there. Don't think for a second. And I don't give a damn about Fusi. I care about Fusi's mom. Imagine her mom. Do you know moms have come up to me and talked to me about their children? Do you know what I've done for parents to help with their children? I'm not going to even say it to out them. Because their children might be watching this right now. And it would break their hearts to know that my, my interactions with them only came because of that. I got to go. I gotta go. I gotta pray Maghrib, guys. Um, I don't know. Uh, I am gonna say this, though. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going through this rant. I don't know what to call this. Uh, Fusi, if you uh, see this m video by some miracle or whatever, you know how to hit me up. Let's not be stupid over here. Like, you know, I'm an Instagram DM away. I'm a comment away. I'm whatever. But it's all about taking massive action. Are you gonna take massive action? You're gonna hit a dude up? You gonna hit a Jew up? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. But you know what? The point of the matter is that this had to get out of there because I genuinely appreciate you. I appreciate what you were doing and you're, you're doing a great and noble cause. Good for you. I'm proud of you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you, help your depression. It's not easy, my bro. And don't think that you suffer through this alone. Every single day is a new day. Every day there's this ups, there's this downs. You understand? Every single day is a new day. Sometimes you wake up, you're not feeling yourself, and you got to do certain things. You got to remember certain things to get you back in the right mindset. Otherwise, you could go down this rabbit hole of just feeling bad, and then the anxiety develops, and then all these things start happening. But there's ways to control it. There's ways to go by it. And I'm living proof of this because I still suffer with all these things still till this day. Don't think for a second that, you know, I'm where I'm at right now, but I don't suffer with, uh, you know, depressed thoughts, anxiety, you know, restlessness. Don't think that I don't as well. Don't think that I'm better than anyone over here. But I found ways and figured out ways to get myself out of those points, get myself to be better, become more productive, and become an instrument to Allah's deen. That's how I figured it out. And I know I can help other people out there too. And I've learned to bet on myself because no one bets on me. Throughout my whole life, no one bet on me. My father, nothing has been in my life has been uh, orthodox. Nothing at all. And I don't expect my journey in this world to be orthodox either. I'm me. I do me. I'm, I, I, everything about me is exactly how I want to be. No one is going to dictate my content. No one's going to tell me how to do anything like that. I do this for the sake of Allah. That is it. I do this for my family to make sure I provide for them. Make sure that I'm there for my daughters who are, by the way, still waiting for me for Salah. And they're telling me, I got to go, guys. I, I really love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, check out some of my other videos or don't. Or don't check them out. I think that it's equally as okay to not check them out. Love you all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I um, hope you guys benefited from this video in some way, shape, or form. And how would you guys like that Israelite video? That's from yesterday. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.